Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with a really quick video of a couple pocket letters. I haven't been doing videos on all the pocket letters I make, but I figured I would just go ahead and um, I, one of them I'm sending out, I didn't do a video, so maybe the person receiving it will do one. If not, I didn't, it was like fine, whatever. I just wanted to get it out. These two are another set that I have to get out, so I'm not gonna say which ones are for who. So let's go ahead, okay, and then we'll start with the danglies. So I did one of these little glass tiles that I make <laughs> and with little charms. So that's that one. And then I just hung a tassel, one of my homemade tassels that I make. And I just put um, a little doodad in the middle. See, these tassels are cute when you make them, especially for all um, the other crochet people out there. Um, I already had this in stash, so I didn't have to go buy anything. Okay, this paper, I absolutely love, love, love it. It's cheater paper. Now, what I call cheater paper is the kind of paper, the 12 by 12, and it has all the cuts. All you got to do literally is run it through your trimmer, and it's already cut out for you. So, I totally did the cheater paper. And this one, I did not want to cover. Um, it is so stinking cute. I mean, look at that. All the cute little cupcakes. It is just gorge. Then I have this little clip up here. This one Natty made and gifted. And then I believe this is one of our embellishments swaps that we did. And so I put that up top. This is one of those hangers from Michaels. Nat gifted me those and I cut out all of the original papers that came with it. I didn't like them. So I stuck on the banners It's part of this paper line. And then I just put those on there. Then this part right here, I just went ahead and I put a die cut that's actually in the paper inside. And then this frame is on the outside of the pocket. And then I just put on a couple of these hearts. These were gifted to me by Rosanna and um, she made a Valentine goodie basket for all of us. So I dipped into that and put those on top and then just put a little button on there. Then right here, I purchased some of these super super cute flags um, from Michaels, or flags, kites. <laughs> and I put that in there and I got my cloud punch and I put a couple of those and adhered those on there. I thought that was really cute. And then this right here, look at those little stinking cute. I made a little shaker pocket and um, I used these little confetti or, they're not even sequins but they're from Michaels. It's part of their new section. They put a new section in and I couldn't resist. Look at that. Super cute, right? Stars that are yellow. And these right here are um, also stars that are blue and it's hard to see with the glare. These are hearts that are orange. And then these ones right here are hearts that are pink. And then these light green stars. And then these are hearts again. Th tell me this is not the most stinking cute color palette. You guys are going to see a lot more stuff from me that are like with these type of bright colors. I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> but I'm a chameleon. If you notice, I don't stick with one style. I'm all over the place. So I put that in here and then I adhered it. Like I said, I don't have the fuse tool and nor do I sew. Um, so uh, I just adhered it here. Now when I did this, I didn't consider, I forgot that I hadn't put something in on the inside and I sealed the pocket. <laughs> So you're going to see I didn't put no goodies on that side. So the person that's receiving this, I'll add something extra. And then this right here is just a butterfly that I made. And then this right here is the, um, it's a stamp, but this is where the letter is on the other side. And I just put these pearls. I did put them on the inside. Yeah, I put them on the inside. Okay, so it's cute little macaroons. This paper is uber. And then I have this little butt dragonfly right here. With a, This is on the outside, not on the inside. Then I made this little banner with my banner punch. And then I just grabbed my little heart punch. And then I just put little hearts all over there. And I used twine to hang it on. And I left these also because how cute are these cupcakes? They just had super pretty images. And it seems a shame to cover it. That's the only thing that sucks when you get like the cheater to paper type like like this one right here There was nothing on it. So it needed to be covered and put stuff on but gosh That's a tough one. So This is the one pocket letter and then on the back I just put some of these banners This is some of the banners and tags that came with the collection. So I just put those in there 
Here's a couple of paper clips that I made. This is my letter. I have this, it's an old Sizzix die. So I went ahead and put that in there. This is where it's sealed. <laughs> and I just put a tassel there that I purchased from LA. This is just a resin piece I made. A couple of hearts that I crocheted. These are the perler beads. And I went ahead and, um, well yeah, you can see. This is like a little cupcake. And then this is a strawberry. So I put those in there so the person receiving it, all they have to do is put a split ring and then they can hang it as a dangle. So I'll add an extra little something to this one. But I love how it came out. I'm starting to work on getting more sweet things. So you guys are going to see some new stuff coming from me. Um, Sabrina has been infectious now. I have watched so many videos. I am now jumping on the wagon. So I've been getting a lot more things, mold or whatever, of little sweet things, purchasing more, stuff like that. So um, I am on a new little adventure for the time being. You know us. We go through a phase and we're over it. <laughs> All right, starting on the top of this one. Um, this is one of those um, hair clips from a while ago from Michaels. So I just put that on there and then I put another one of my homemade tassels and I just stuck a little um, flower resin thingy on there. And then I put this really pretty dye, um, gold banner. I borrowed Nat's dye and then this was gifted to me by Nat, some punches. So I put those sporadically. Now. I'm going to show you what I did differently on here in a minute. And then I, this is another die that Nat has that I went ahead and ran. I love it. So that's on the inside of the card, but the pearls are on the outside. And then I have one of my um, Butterbee clips that I've showed previously. So I put that on there and it's in gold. So that's just clipped on. And it worked perfect because there's a lot of pink and green in here. And those are green. Now... Okay, I'll go I'll show them in a minute. Anyways, so then I knit another little shaker pocket. And then I had this gold trim that, oh my gosh, I've had it forever because I wasn't feeling gold years ago. So thank goodness I kept it and it didn't fade because it went perfect with the theme. So I have a bunch of different, um, I don't think you're going to be able to see them all, but different little sequins and veneers. And I just put the little love for my punch in there. And then this right here, I have this die that does this. They almost look like the Magnolia dies, doohickeys, um, but it's not. <laughs> so I have that back there. This is a Michaels frame. And then I just put this image in the back of it. And these are the ones that come two to a package. I hung this other pretty little banner from, that I borrowed from Nat, because I don't have that one either. And then I have this flower also. There's the other little... Um, die cut it's it came with the big one and then the medium sized one so i put that under this flower that i made and there's another little butterfly now what i did differently with this one is i took some of this trim right here and it's only in half so i did this side then i adhered this on the other side so these are two different tr or two trims that i made look like one then i put the and i did it all the way through in the middle all the way through up top then i put this really pretty trim right here all the way through so everything I had here I wanted to try something a little different um, shandy has been a great inspiration because she's been doing a lot of dimensional stuff on the top so I was like well, let me try to do a little bit more on the top as opposed to because this is all on the top right here all of this the only thing that's at the bottom is this die cut this is actually adhered to here to the paper and I actually cut it but you can't see because I have all this on top and then I put this on this pocket and this side on this pocket and then I covered everything on top. So this is all, all above the pocket. So I love how that came out. I thought it was really super pretty how that worked out. So I have to turn it to the side. This is pretty much how this pocket came out. I love it. <laughs> and then on this one, I went ahead and added a little Hello Kitty, one of the resin pieces I made. And I just put some little pink blings in her eyes. Put a couple um, bows in there. I put a couple. Did I? Oh, it came out. I was just, I put two of them in here. Two of these um, little sentiments in here. They could take the sticky part off, use it on a future par pocket or card. And then I put a couple of my butterflies in there that I've made. I put one of my little cloud embellishments. I embellished this crown and I put that in there. 
Then I put some little appliques and little birdie. This is some pearl um, sticky sticker type thingy. It's on a sheet. <laughs> and then I put a couple um, uh, little doilies in there. So that's what I have in this pocket. So this is what I came up with with my couple pockets. <laughs> I do have a couple more. My max was 10. The package I bought was 10 and I knew I would stop at 10. So um, I do have a few more. Actually, I got to do a count. I don't know. So I just wanted to briefly show you guys this stuff. And thank you so much for stopping by. I know everybody's like, oh my gosh, everybody's doing pocket letters. Well, I haven't been doing very many, but I sure have been watching a lot of videos <laughs> with people doing them. So um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And you will see me back real soon because I do have a couple of videos I have to put up this weekend. So have an amazing Saturday. Bye.